Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to talk about the single leg deadlift, one of my favorite exercises and something that so many of you out there are doing. We're going to talk about how to fix it and one of my favorite tips for making the most out of this move. From runners and endurance athletes to strength and fitness and CrossFit athletes, we know that single leg deadlifts are an amazing tool, not just in rehab, but really for developing fitness specifically unilateral training, so one-sided training, is known to have a ton of benefits for our muscular development, for coordination, and beyond. So, how is it then that so many of us that are doing it are struggling to be able to do it the right way? On top of just struggling with this movement, we also see people that develop pain and problems because of this movement, so we wanna give you a chance to fix that right now. Of all the problems that we see with the single leg deadlift, by far the biggest one is that people have a hard time connecting the rear extending leg with their torso and their core. So a lot of times what we see is this over flexed posture where their, their torso is going down but their rear leg is not moving very much. Or sometimes we see this over extended posture where the rear leg does a ton of work and the torso just kind of barely goes along for the ride. The ideal way to do this to preserve your lower back, to make sure you're getting the most out of the hip and single leg development that can come with this move, is to make sure that your rear leg moving and your torso descending towards the ground are moving at the same exact pace. So we're gonna look first at what a couple of bad examples are, and then we're gonna show you the exact trick that we teach our patients to improve this part of the lift. The first bad version we're gonna look at is the overflexed version, where you're gonna see me move further down towards the ground with my ribs, torso, upper body than with my rear leg. And often this leads to excessive twisting in this movement and certainly excessive rounding in this movement. The second bad version is the overextended version, which is essentially the opposite. You're gonna see my rear leg almost shoot up towards the ceiling at far more than how my upper body is moving. Our favorite way to fix this once and for all involves a 36 inch foam roll. You're gonna have one arm totally straight, elbow locked, and lots of tension between that straight arm and the foot that that foam roll is connected to. As you can see here, this simple trick perfectly connects the upper body and that, that rear extending leg to make sure that you have straight lines and good form the entire time you're doing this. Now, harnessing the power of using a foam roll to improve your single leg deadlift form doesn't have to be this long-term thing. A lot of times it's just best to use it to relearn this movement and learn how to reconnect the hip and the torso relationship so that you can do this movement better in a long time in the future without any problems at all. Hey, I sincerely hope that this was valuable to you. And if it was, please like, share it, comment, ask any questions right down below. We would love to connect. Have an awesome day.